Hey everybody, I'm here today with a basic driving lesson. In this lesson, I will be showing you how to make a left hand turn at a light. So basically, when you are approaching the light and you are approaching the left hand turn lane, you are going to put your left signal on and check your blind spot and proceed into the left hand turn lane when it is safe to do so. So I am uh, approaching a left hand turn lane. It is still um, quite the distance away, but I am coming close. So when I get near the left hand turn lane, I'm going to put my left hand signal on. I'm going to check my blind spot over my left shoulder and move into the left hand turn lane. The left hand turn lane is right there. So I'm putting my signal on. I am coming close to the lane, so I will check my blind spot. Then I will move into the left hand turn lane. Now I'm going to move into the intersection, okay? into the intersection um, just a few feet and I'm waiting for a gap in the cars that are approaching I see a gap and uh, basically you're when you see a gap that is large enough you are going to also check for uh, pedestrians that are crossing and make sure that there aren't any pedestrians so right now I see a potential gap in the cars it looks like it might be big enough um, but uh, I'm gonna check for pedestrians and now it's a yellow light so I'm gonna explain this in just a few moments okay so basically you're going to check for a gap in the uh, cars that are oncoming and then if you see a gap that allows you to safely make a left-hand turn you are also going to check for pedestrians and if there is a gap that is big enough that'll that will allow you to make the left-hand turn and also if there are no pedestrians crossing at that time, then you will check your blind spot and proceed to make the left hand turn. If there is no gap that is big enough during the green light sequence, then when the light turns yellow, you will wait for the any cars, um, you will wait for any cars that are oncoming to stop, to come to a complete stop. And when you know that they are stopped, then you will also check once again for pedestrians. If there are no pedestrians, then you will check your blind spot and proceed to make the left-hand turn. So, try and, and find a gap in oncoming traffic during the green light sequence. Check for pedestrians, check your blind spot, make the turn. If there isn't a gap in oncoming traffic, I'm just gonna pull over as I explain this. Um, if there isn't a gap in oncoming traffic, then uh, wait for the yellow light, make sure the oncoming cars stop, check for pedestrians, check your blind spot, make a left-hand turn. Now, two quick tips. Do not move into the intersection when there is another car in front of you waiting to make a left-hand turn. So let's say I was uh, at, in the left-hand turn lane and there was a car in front of me in the intersection waiting to make a left-hand turn. Do not move into the intersection because if the light turns yellow and the light turns red and the car in front of you turns you know much later into the yellow light then if you are in the intersection you will either be forced to make a left-hand turn because you are in the intersection or you will be stuck you know blocking the pedestrian crosswalk or stuck in the intersection so wait until it is your turn to make a left for you to move into the intersection so you have to be the the next car that is making a left for you to move into the intersection. Another quick tip, when you move into the intersection, keep your, your wheels straight. Do not start turning left. I see a lot of cars begin to turn left like this when they're moving into the intersection, getting ready to make a left-hand turn. That is the wrong thing to do because if you start to turn left and you get rear-ended, let's say a car hits you from behind, when you move up, you will be moving up to the left into oncoming traffic. And that can be extremely, extremely dangerous because you can get T-boned. So if you are keeping your wheel straight when you are moving into the intersection and a car hits you from behind, let's say you get rear-ended, you will move forward in a straight manner. You will not move into oncoming traffic. It will not be as dangerous as moving you know, towards the left. And that's basically it. This has been a very simple driving lesson and in the driving lesson I've shown you how to make a left hand turn at a light. Please follow the instructions in this video and you'll be good to go. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.